check this out. I just put in rhinoplasty surgery, choose my country. I'm gonna do just a normal search here. Ludicrous search goes even deeper. All right, I can choose where I wanna pull suggestions from. So I'm gonna do just uh, Google and uh, Amazon and YouTube. All right, now I'm gonna do my search. I'm gonna click get keywords. It just takes a couple seconds. After taking a minute just to click the keywords I'm interested in and digging into a little further, I can go through and check the competition on those. So now it's gonna take those and it's going to check the competition levels and give me data on each of the ones that I have seeded. Okay, look right here now. It's telling me that uh, rhinoplasty surgery for sinuses only got five competing sites. Uh, rhinoplasty surgery average cost, six. Same with nose surgery, how much does it cost? Rhinoplasty surgery financing. That means these are global keywords. I can now go and if I want to, I can localize these. Look, I can see that some of these are pretty darn competitive. I'm gonna go ahead and nix a couple of these really quick, or at least that one. If I want to, I can add an additional keyword. I can just put in rhinoplasty surgery price, okay? And I can manually add this to the list if I want to, just to check it really quick. All right, now let me, let me click the check competition, let it refresh real quick. Now it's giving me that as well so I can see very easily. Okay, that's very competitive as well, but now if I wanna localize this, I can add a city. I'm not gonna always do this because some of these examples, I'm not doing anything at a local level. But in case I want to, I can just go ahead and put the city Dallas in here, add it to the list, it will automatically populate all those keywords adding the word Dallas to it, I can check the competition and it's gonna come right up. And I can now narrow it down even further. I'm just gonna pick a few of these keywords based on competition. So it's telling me competitive levels, meaning, remember when I put that in quotes, it's telling me how many exact sites are, are ranking for that or are trying actively to rank for that. And anything under 10, I consider very winnable. And obviously we know these are profitable. And it's also telling me if I'm gonna to have to be really competing with any of the Google Maps, it's telling me how many videos are there. So look, I know I can pretty much rank a video pretty easily with this, because I've been pulling data from YouTube as well. And it's, this is based on how many videos are showing up on Google itself and the blended results. And it's telling me, you know, are people paying for ads on some of these? Uh, it's giving me some, some general data on all this. So I'm going through and picking the best options. And now I can, if I want to, I can add action words. You know, I can automatically add a list here that'll add things like emergency, estimate, custom, affordable, fast, 24 hour. It automatically populates that if you want to, or you can add your own, like I can just put the word affordable, okay? And then add it to list and see, it'll add that to list and then I can check the competition and it'll re-rank it real quick. As you can see, all those modifiers were added just automatically. I mean, I can go nuts with this if I want to, but here, if you keep it simple, I, I went ahead and narrowed it down. That's what's cool about this. You're narrowing it down as you go along the way. And so here we go. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I've got it narrowed down to seven keywords out of this huge list here that just took me a minute to go through. So now, I can very simply narrow it down a little bit more. Okay, if I want to, I can check the domain names on any of these, okay? So let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna check the domain names on all of them and see if the exact match domain name is available. I can also include adding a hyphen if I want to, but I prefer not. So let's check that real quick. I've got the availability on all the domain names. So if I wanted to do rhinoplastysurgeryfinancing.com, it is available. All right, now I can also go and check the major social sites as well. I'm just gonna check that one. So I'm gonna go and look and check social and let it run real fast. Rhinoplasty surgery financing. That means if I were to try to get a Facebook page with a vanity URL of facebook.com forward slash rhinoplasty surgery financing, it is available. Same thing with Google+, Plus. same thing with a YouTube channel, same thing with a Twitter account. Those are all available. So now I know I can get the domain, I've got my keywords, and I can export any and all of these to a CSV file anytime I want uh, through any of these steps. Guys, that's how simple Keyword Rocker is. It takes literally a couple of minutes to do the research that used to take 30 minutes to an hour plus to do. This is important, we can't skip this, but now we can make it a lot faster and a lot easier to do and get the information and data we need to be able to find profitable and winnable opportunities quickly and easily.